Urinary bladder is the muscular bag which acts as reservoir of the urine. The urine formed by the kidneys will be transported through the ureter to the urinary bladder and it will be temporarily stored there till it is getting voided through the urethra. And in the definition of the bladder we were using a term muscular because the main thickness of the wall of the bladder is smooth muscles. These smooth muscles are called as detrusor muscles. Histologically there are three layers for the urinary bladder. Mucosa, muscle layer, serosa or adventitia. The mucosa is made up of transitional epithelium. The features of the transitional epithelium already we have learned earlier. The transitional epithelium is also called as urothelium. This is made up of various type of cellular layers. The basal layer will be cuboidal or columnar. And above the basal layer there will be 4 to 5 layers of polygonal cells. And the superficial most layers are showing umbrella shaped cells. Few umbrella shaped cells are binucleated or shows two nuclei in the cytoplasm. Functionally, the transitional epithelium performs two functions. Number one, stretching or distension of the urinary tract. Number two, prevents the reabsorption of the toxic materials. Again back to the blood. This lining epithelium is called as transitional epithelium because this can change the shape according to the stretched or relaxed stage. If it is stretched, it will become stratified squamous epithelium and if it is relaxed, that will be the transitional epithelium or urothelium. The empty bladder shows several mucosal folds. The mucosa is folded to the temporary folds. These are called as rugae, exactly speaking, vesicle rugae. The superficial cell layers take dark eosinophilic stain. Next to the lining epithelium in the mucosa we can appreciate the lamina propria. The lamina propria is made up of moderately dense connective tissue and there will be occasional lymphatic nodules and tiny blood vessels with lymphatics. Next is the muscle layer. The muscle coat or the muscle layer is made up of smooth muscles which are running in all the directions. Between the smooth muscle bundles, there is a fibrous loose connective tissue. So even though these smooth muscles are arranged in various directions, there will be transverse and longitudinal and also the oblique muscles. But it will be very difficult to distinguish. The outer layer, histological layer of the bladder is serosa and adventitia. The part of the bladder which is covered with the peritoneum shows serosa, that is simple squamous mesothelium with the underlying connective tissue. The rest of the parts which are not covered that will show the adventitia, that is only connective tissue, no mesothelium present. The superior surface of the bladder is covered by the serosa, that means the peritoneal covering will be there. The rest of the parts of the bladder will be showing presence of adventitia only. So these are the histological layers, mucosa, muscle layer, serosa and adventitia respectively. Next is clinical anatomy related to the urinary bladder. So the vesicle calculi, that means the stone, renal stone present in the urinary bladder. Cystitis is the inflammation that can happen to the urinary bladder. Transitional cell carcinoma can happen even in the urinary bladder also. So that is the malignant transformation of the transitional epithelium. This is also called as urothelial cancer or transitional cell carcinoma. So to identify the histological slide, HNE stained histological slide of the urinary bladder, we have to identify the lining epithelium that is the transitional epithelium with underlying lamina propria, randomly arranged muscle layer and the serosa or adventitia. Thank you for watching this short video of histology of urinary bladder.